Investing in the stock market can be scary and intimidating if you are a beginner. There are so many stocks to choose from that it can be quite overwhelming. A good place to start are brand name companies whose products you might already be using. These companies tend to be well established with strong financials which allows them to pay dividends. And dividend paying stocks are a great way to diversify your portfolio and earn some passive income. So in this video, I'm going to give you 7 dividend stocks to consider. And you're probably already familiar with most of them. I'm going to evaluate them in terms of their dividend yield, dividend growth rate, payout ratio, historical performance, and market conditions. If these terms are unfamiliar to you, don't worry, I'll explain them as we go along. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Santosh. I'm a designated chartered accountant and on this channel I cover all topics related to personal finance, productivity, and well-being. Okay, let's get right into it. First on the list is Procter & Gamble or ticker symbol PG. This is a company that needs no introduction. Procter & Gamble makes household and personal products in the consumer staples sector. They own many familiar brands from Pampers and Tide to Bounty and Old Spice. These are staple products and fairly immune to recessions and other economic downturns. The stock has a dividend yield of 2.5%, which means that for every $100 of the stock that you own, you will receive $2.50 in dividends per year. At the time of this video, one stock of the company paid $3.76 in dividends per year. And this dividend represents a 59% payout ratio. This means that for $1 of earnings, 59 cents was paid out to shareholders as dividends. This is a high payout ratio, which only mature and financially strong companies can do. If you find this impressive, let me blow your mind with another metric. Sometimes, when a company does well, it increases the dividend payment to share the extra earnings with its shareholders. But this is not a guarantee. So it's quite remarkable that the Procter & Gamble stock has increased its dividends for the previous 67 consecutive years, which is a testament to the company's financial stability and speaks volumes to its ability to pay dividends consistently into the future. The one-year and five-year dividend growth rates are 3.98% and 5.68% respectively. If you had this stock in your portfolio five years ago, you would have seen the dividend payments increase by 5.68% each year. This is useful if you are planning to build out a portfolio that generates passive income. The annual increase in dividend payments can offset inflation and provides you with a cash flow that you can either reinvest into the stock market or use to pay your bills. Second on the list is Coca-Cola or ticker symbol KO. Do I even need to introduce this company? The namesake beverage of this company is almost a part of the cultural fabric at this point. But what really interests me is the wide array of brands under its ownership. From Sprite and Dasani to Vitamin Water and Nesty, a large portion of your beverage choices either directly or indirectly makes its way to Coca-Cola. There is a product for every budget, price point, and consumer. This makes the company well positioned to weather economic headwinds and is a strategic pick during high inflation. The stock has a dividend yield of 3.05%, which means that for every $100 of the stock that you own, you will receive $3.05 in dividend payments per year. At the time of this video, one stock of the company paid $1.84 in dividends per year. And this dividend represents a 72% payout ratio. This means that for $1 of earnings, 72 cents is paid out to shareholders as dividends. Similar to Procter & Gamble, this is a high payout ratio. And it makes sense from the perspective of Coca-Cola being a cash cow and not needing to spend large amounts of money on R&D for new products. And similar to Procter & Gamble, this stock has increased its dividends for 61 consecutive years, which should inspire confidence in the longevity of this company. The one-year and five-year dividend growth rates are 4.6% and 3.4% respectively. If you had this stock in your portfolio five years ago, you would have seen the dividend payments increased by 3.4% each year. Similar to the theme of the previous stock, this growth rate offsets the inflation target of 2%. The dividend payments can be used to either reinvest into the stock market or used as a source of income. Third on the list is Lowe's or ticker symbol LOW. 
If you aren't familiar with this company, Lowe's operates in the home improvement sector and sells products such as appliances, seasonal and outdoor living, hardware, and other building materials. I actually bought my washer and dryer from Lowe's. Similar to other companies in this space, Lowe's will price match identical items from any local or online competitor. But what sets it apart is that this includes Amazon. This gives customers the peace of mind that they can interact with the products that they want to buy without giving up on savings. And this return policy makes for repeat customers. The stock has a dividend yield of 2.01%, which means that for every $100 of the stock that you own, you will receive $2.01 in dividend payments per year. And at the time of this video, one stock of the company paid $4.40 in dividends per year. And this dividend represents a 33% payout ratio. This means that for $1 of earnings, 33 cents is paid out to shareholders as dividends. Unlike the previous two stocks, this is a more conservative payout ratio as Lowe's has to invest the majority of its earnings back into the business. Similar to the previous two options, this stock has increased its dividends for 62 consecutive years. The one-year and five-year dividend growth rates are 16.22% and 19.29% respectively. If you had this stock in your portfolio five years ago, you would have seen the dividend payments increase by 19.29% each year. Fourth on the list is Johnson & Johnson or ticker symbol JNJ. &J. Johnson & Johnson operates in the healthcare and pharmaceutical sector. You're probably using one or more of their brands right now. For example, they make Neutrogena, Tylenol, and Listerine. During the pandemic, they made the single-dose COVID-19 vaccine. So clearly, it's a large company. The stock has a dividend yield of 2.93%, which means that for every $100 of the stock that you own, you will receive $2.93 in dividend payments per year. And at the time of this video, one stock of the company paid $4.76 in dividends per year. And this dividend represents a 34% payout ratio. This means that for $1 of earnings, 34 cents is paid out to shareholders as dividends. This is a more conservative payout ratio as the company has to reinvest a majority of its earnings back into R&D to develop new pharmaceutical products, which is an expensive endeavor. Similar to the previous three options, this stock has increased its dividends for 61 consecutive years. The one-year and five-year dividend growth rates are 5.94% and 5.92% respectively. If you had this stock in your portfolio five years ago, you would have seen the dividend payments increase by 5.92% each year. Fifth on the list is 3M or ticker symbol MMM. 3M is famous for the strips that you use to hang stuff off the wall. But like every company previous on this list, they do a whole lot more. From command strips to air filters and post-it notes to Scotch-Brite, 3M runs the gamut of industrial products that target both consumers and businesses. The stock has a dividend yield of 5.55%, which means that for every $100 of 3M stock that you own, you will receive $5.55 in dividend payments per year. And at the time of this video, one stock of the company paid $6 in dividends per year. With regards to payout ratio, there isn't enough information to calculate a figure that is comparable to the other companies on this list, but that's not a negative against the company. The stock has increased its dividends for 65 consecutive years. So along with Procter & Gamble, Coca-Cola, Lowe's, and Johnson & Johnson, these stocks are in an elite group of companies known as dividend kings. Companies in this group have increased their dividend payments for 60 years or more. The ability to increase dividends for 60 years is a sign of strength and is a quality that you want to consider in a dividend stock. The one-year and five-year dividend growth rates are 0.67% and 2.65% respectively. If you had this stock in your portfolio five years ago, you would have seen the dividend payments increase by 2.65% each year. Sixth on the list is Costco or ticker symbol COST. If you have a large family or live in the suburbs, you probably shop at Costco or know someone who does. Costco charges a membership fee, which is a huge competitive advantage. It creates a lot of stickiness with customers who want to get the best bang for their membership dollars. It doesn't hurt that Costco has a generous return policy, $1 hot dog and cheap gas. 
This is a recipe for extremely loyal customers. The stock has a dividend yield of 0.6%, which means that for every $100 of the stock that you own, you will receive 60 cents in dividend payments per year. And at the time of this video, one stock of the company paid $4.08 in dividends per year. And this dividend represents a 26.94% payout ratio. This means that for $1 of earnings, just under 27 cents is paid out to shareholders as dividends. This is a more conservative payout ratio, which gives Costco the ability to expand its retail presence in a strategic manner. It also means its stock price is given a sufficient boost. As a shareholder, you win either way. This stock has increased its dividends for 19 consecutive years. The one-year and five-year dividend growth rates are 13.47% and 12.37% respectively. If you had this stock in your portfolio five years ago, you would have seen the dividend payments increase by 12.37% each year. Seventh on the list is Microsoft or ticker symbol MSFT. You may not think of Microsoft as a dividend stock. Its significance is in the tech space where it's operated for just under five decades. During this time, it has developed into a well-diversified company with product offerings in almost every tech category. From operating systems like Windows, to productivity software like Office 365, to gaming like Xbox and the recent acquisition of Activision, Microsoft has de-risked itself from relying on any one single pillar for most of its revenue. And with this maturity, it has become a cash cow. And this cash is paid out in dividends. This makes Microsoft a great dividend stock. The stock has a dividend yield of 0.77% which means that for every $100 of the stock that you own, you will receive 77 cents in dividend payments per year. And at the time of this video, one stock of the company paid $3 in dividends per year. And this dividend represents a 26% payout ratio. This means that for every $1 of earnings, 26 cents is paid out to shareholders as dividends. This payout ratio allows Microsoft to invest in new product development and invest in new technologies like OpenAI. The market rewards these actions with share price appreciation, which benefits you as a shareholder. In fact, it recently overtook Apple to become the most valuable company in the world. The stock has increased its dividends for 19 consecutive years. The one-year and five-year dividend growth rates are 9.84% and 10.16% respectively. If you had the stock in your portfolio five years ago, you would have seen the dividend payments increase by 10.16% each year. As a thank you for staying with the video up to this point, here's a bonus stock. Starbucks or ticker symbol SBX. For many people, getting a Starbucks coffee is a daily ritual. It's either the start of their day or an afternoon break to catch up with friends and colleagues at work. The brand has a strong presence that resonates across the world, especially in China, which is the second largest market for Starbucks after the US. The stock has a dividend yield of 2.48%, which means that for every $100 of the stock that you own, you will receive $2.48 in dividend payments per year. And at the time of this video, one stock of the company paid $2.28 in dividends per year. And this dividend represents a 58.96% payout ratio. This means that for $1 of earnings, just under 59 cents is paid out to shareholders as dividends. This is a high payout ratio, which makes sense given the nature of service and products offered by the company. The company expends most of its resources on building and maintaining the brand, which is less expensive than R&D. This allows the company to return most of its earnings to shareholders. This stock has increased its dividends for 13 consecutive years. The one-year and five-year dividend growth rates are 8% and 10.35% respectively. If you had this stock in your portfolio five years ago, you would have seen the dividend payments increase by 10.35% each year. Now let's put this all together. If the cost of being you was $833 per month, that equates to approximately $10,000 per year. The average dividend yield from this list was approximately 2.5%. Factoring in dividend growth each year, let's assume that the yield grows to 4% in the next 20 years, which is not unrealistic. 
you would need to have a portfolio worth $250,000 with a dividend yield of 4% to generate $10,000 of dividends per year. Growing a portfolio of this size is very doable as you have a number of factors on your side, like time and reinvesting dividends back into the portfolio. The details around this can be a whole other video. So let me know if you are interested in seeing one. And let me know what you thought of the companies on this list. Do you already have them in your portfolio or were you considering adding it? Are there other companies you would recommend? Let's chat in the comments section. I'm sure someone watching this video will benefit from the discussion. If you got value from this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next one.